So we're already both in setting and reading from a new contact table that we created inside of the SQLite database. What we have to do now is figure out a way to display this contact list inside of the UI. So during this section, we're going to be inside of the contacts page, working with a list view. So, so far our content page inside of the contacts page only has a definition of one toolbar item, which is currently navigating us to the main page. However, what we're really needing here is some content so we can actually start listing the list. This is actually going to be quite straightforward. And all I have to do is define some content in here. So like I previously said, we can have the toolbar items definition, but this is really not the content of the page. This is something that goes inside of the toolbar, the title bar that we see thanks to the navigation page. However, it is the content, the one that is actually going to contain whatever is going to be displayed inside of the page. In here is where we need to define the list view that we're going to be working with. Now, currently, I'm actually going to be defining it in just one line. Eventually, I do need to make some changes to this definition. Right now, let me just define it in one line. And notice that immediately you see a list of cells listed inside of the designer. And what we're going to do is having this list view, use it in a very similar way to the way we have been using other elements. We're going to be assigning a name to it. And this is going to be the context list view. And what we're going to do is set its item source. It is precisely the item source property of the list view, the one that, well, is going to set the list view's source. What is the list view going to be using to display many elements? So let's go ahead and do that right after reading the contacts. So we have this contacts variable and all I have to do is access the contacts list view and set the item source to these contacts. Now this can easily happen because the contacts is already a list and the item source needs to be an enumerable. Notice that the type of the item source is an I enumerable. Now this is an interface, but it turns out that list actually in some way implement the I enumerable interface. So this is compatible. We can assign a list to an I enumerable, which is exactly what we're doing here. So basically right after reading the content table and making this query be transformed into a list with the help of link, we're going to be assigning this list of contacts to the list view. Now, I hope it was that easy, but let's go ahead and run this and take a look at what the list view is going to be displaying so far. Now, if you remember in the previous two lectures, I have already inserted two elements. I have not added any other element. I have deleted nothing, but still I see nothing in here. As you can see, even though the list view is here, it is quite empty. Now, I do want you to notice that if I click on the first cell, it is selected. So is the second cell and the third one is not. That would make you think that something is working here because maybe these two cells are already displaying whatever is in those contacts only they are not really displaying anything, but we see that two elements are here and only two. If I click somewhere else in the list view, nothing happens, only for the first two cells. So something must be working in here. Now, what we are going to take a look at in the next lecture is exactly how are we going to change what is being displayed in here? Because currently, because we define the list view just like this, entirely empty, it has no idea how we want to display elements. And so while it is listing the two elements because we are setting 
the item source, it doesn't know how these items should be displayed. So in the next lecture, now that we see that our list view is very quickly working, at least somehow working by setting the item source, how are we going to be displaying actual text or something inside of these cells?